This is video two for my green bacillus uh, nesting situation. So I did a video prior to this, just basically uh, how I would set up a gravid uh, bacillus. One thing I didn't note is actually taking this dome light and fixing it to the top of uh, this wire top, basically, so it doesn't fall off. So if you have pets or whatever, so that way it's, it's secure. So anyways, right now, I've noticed my female has become skinny. Clearly skinny. Let's put this down. We're gonna move this out into the middle of the room. Hi, sweetie. So she looks. Hi, sweetie. I know. So one of the one of the first things you're gonna to want to do is she's being defensive right now, but she's really friendly. I'd probably want to soak her. And uh, then I would uh, feed her some really good food, which would probably be uh, gut-loaded roaches with lots of uh, rapashi vitamins. I, I use a calcium plus. It smells like berries, but I really, you know, I, I like this stuff. I think rapashi superfood stuff is, is excellent. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take this top piece off. Hmm. Okay, we'll do it like this. Okay, so I have a little, I have a little ladder that goes down into there, and here we are. Okay, so this is a nesting situation. I'm gonna get my bin. Um, I'm using, in this case, I use hatch right, which is basically it's it's essentially perlite with some other stuff mixed into it, and. Uh, it works great. I've hatched all sorts of, you know, animals being snakes and lizards in this. So if I go look here, I see a couple white looking things. So um, what I like to do is when I give them a nesting situation, I give them places that they would dig underneath. So in here I'm using potting soil, leaves, perlite, sphagnum, and uh, yeah, I think a little bit of sand. I might have made this up. So anyways, let's see what we got. Hopefully these are good. These are, uh, this is her first clutch. So these guys, are, they're like, essentially they're like little jelly beans. There we go. Okay, so we're looking really good. That looks like a fertile, fertile egg. Bassless. I've bred these guys before, haven't done it for a while. So essentially, I think if I remember right, they're a lot like beardy eggs. I think they take like 50 some odd days. Don't, you know, won't adhere to that at around 86 degrees because these are kind of one of these things where sometimes you just set them up and you don't pay a lot of attention to them until they hatch. But, uh, now, if these were frill dragons, frill, frill dragons are, uh, their eggs are, you know, usually twice the size. I really like basilis. You don't get to see many have captive bred basilis. So, it's amazing these, these eggs will uh, yield these little, little green guys. And when they hatch, they explode out of the egg. So you'd be like, you know, playing with the eggs and you touch the egg and all of a sudden it's just, I remember when I used to bring it before, that was like one of the, the notable points was, uh, oh, and here we go. That one might be bad. So if we compare that, it's a little misshapen. That's certainly to be expected. These are um, a little bit bigger than, let's say, veiled chameleon eggs. And, uh, I don't think that there's any more. Okay. All right, so the next key thing here, guys and girls, is if I went and incubated them like this, I'd be setting myself up for failure. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna backfill this up to easily that line and I'm gonna fill it with a lot of media. In fact, I may fill, 
you know, like easily an inch, inch and a half on top of these eggs. And then as I ramp up to the area where there's no eggs, I would actually fill that all the way up. So what I'm doing is I'm creating an egg container that has a lot of material in it with moisture. So as the eggs are growing, they can pull the moisture out of their environment. If I left them like this, especially with air holes, the air fluctuation of humidity is gonna keep on going up and down. That's gonna stress the egg, and that could literally you know, kill your egg, or especially when they get close to hatching, you'd have a lot of failure. So I pretty much would just like to do it just like this. Incubate, there's looks like 10, 10 good eggs, one junky egg, and that's probably very typical. And uh, just put it in my incubator, 86 degrees, not too wet and uh, wait for some baby bacillus. I'm gonna have more of these eggs soon. I got, uh, my other females are all getting gravid and uh, they are wonderful. I know, you're grumpy. All right, say goodbye. Cute green bacillus.